Hello everyone, Kevin here on Jimmy Master Animatronics, and today um, my friend Jordan requested me to make this video for everyone who wants to get Deadly Roots. Uh, let me tell you this, if you plan on getting the uh, store display Deadly Roots and you get it with the mouth not working, you're going to be taking a risk. The risk is that you can either replace the motor and the mouth will work again, or you're going to end up like me where you get it and it turns out, of course, the motor has been dead for a while now as you can see this is exactly what happened to the uh, contacts on this side right here completely dead but not just that if you try replacing the motor the mouth is still not going to work because of this oh well i should have turned my flash on but as you can see it this spot right here this little component it's burnt this component right here, it's burnt. It, it it went bad. So you're probably wondering, so how did that happen? So what happened is that um, with the motor being dead and the entire time these set of contacts right are dead, they were making contact with the other set of contacts right here. So it was shorting itself out to the point that it over, it over voltage itself to the point it actually blew that component. And I'm pretty sure that component is what pretty much, you know, makes the mouth move and all. And here's one thing I was told um, from Jordan. He told me that people have told him that their deadly roots has, like, started smoking or almost gotten caught on fire. And that's practically this piece. I'm actually surprised that ours, well, mine, hasn't done this yet when we had it in the store. So at this point, that this is not fixable. You're going to have to contact Spirit for a new head. But again, if you get one and the mouth doesn't work, you're taking a risk. You're either, like I said, you're going to either get lucky, just like Jordan, because Jordan's stair display broke down from the mouth. He fixed it and the mouth still worked. Ours was used, like, non-stop. And, of course, this is what happened. I might try and replace this component. I mean, I don't know if it's possible to replace it. I'm about to probably scrape off the, uh... I'm going to have to find a component and replace it, even though I'm still getting the extra head. Once I get the extra head, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, uh, rewire it. I mean, I'm going to desolder the wires from this board and get the other board and solder it into place of this one. Because I already have this taken apart. The other head is just going to be an extra, just in case if, for, say, something goes wrong with this one. But I'm still going to keep the head. I mean, this is still going to be used no matter what. I mean, I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do. I might probably replace this entire module area and have this set with the new head, but the, uh, what's it called? But the mouth, I'm just going to disable it of some sort. So, yeah, again, this is a warning if you want to get a used deadly roots or if you want to get your own deadly roots and use it to the point the mouth doesn't work, keep this in mind. The minute it goes out, unplug it, replace the motor. And all I can say is that you're going to have to go through a lot of glue, a lot of prying and all to get that mouth off. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and bye.